folks this is dr paul thank you very much for tuning to our channel today today i want to talk a few minutes about gout gout is an inflammatory arthritis and many times it involves one or two joints and uh, you see the goal in the therapy of acute gout attack is the termination you want to terminate the attack as soon as possible and uh, when you start the treatment is most important thing the earlier the better the symptoms improve more quickly with the administration of a broad array of anti-inflammatory drugs so when you use an anti-inflammatory drug and the attack is resolved then the patient is symptom free so we call this intersymptomatic therapy or intercritical period so the flare-ups come again and again and unfortunately there is no end to it but the good news is there are good medications these days we can use to help people with the pain. When, when there are recurrent flares with patients develop chronic arthritis, they can develop, uh, actually benefit a lot from long-term prophylactic therapy with urate lowering agents because the, otherwise the recurrences of this acute gout, they continue to happen. So I want to give you some basic principles. There are several classes of anti-inflammatory agents that are effective for the treatment of acute attack, uh, including non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. There is the colchicine. There is systemic and intraarticular glucocorticoids. There are biological agents that inhibit the action of interleukin-1 beta. So a set of general principles is important in the effective management of acute gout, regardless of the specific anti-inflammatory agent that you want to use. Now, first thing is treatment should start as soon as possible after the patient perceives the beginning of an attack, preferably within several hours of symptom onset. More rapid and complete resolution of symptoms occurs if you start the treatment immediately, especially if the treatment is initiated in the first few hours. Don't wait. Don't play hero with this disease. Some people say, oh, I'm like, I can bear pain. What they are doing is they're prolonging the attack. So if you do late, you're only prolonging the attack. So don't do that. You start the treatment immediately. Complete cessation of treatment can be effectively safely done in two to three days. And a complete resolution happens if you start early and use the medications as long as you need. But with glucocorticoids, follow a slow taper. Otherwise, you will bring on the attack. The duration of therapy could be a few days. I have patients who develop within like two, three days. They were completely symptom free. But unfortunately, some patients take weeks. Weeks and weeks because they don't seek immediate treatment. So most patients require no more than five days. And uh, I have patients that uh, have symptoms for months. Most patients require treatment for no more than five to seven days. If they act uh, if they seek your treat, uh, treatment within a few days within a few hours so that's very important start treatment immediately then think about the uh, urine lowering uh, urate lowering therapies and the remember if a patient is allopurinol and he gets an attack or febuxostat or probenicid or benzbromeron or Paglotikon, these are like uh, urate lowering agents. Don't stop them during the acute attack. Even if the patient says, oh, I, am, I got the acute attack anyway, why should I take these th things? You need to, because if you stop, the next attack is coming soon. So even when you got an acute attack, still take these medications, urate lowering agents, still take them, still take allopurinol. So that's an important point to remember because many patients stop allopurinol when they get an acute attack. And some patients with TOFI, for example, that means that they already have a chronic gout. So treatment of acute gout does not differ substantially in patients with or without clinically apparent TOFI. Although the presence of the TOFI is an indication of the, uh, for the is an indication for the initiation of long-term urate therapy, you need to continue these uh, uh, urine low, uh, urate lowering uh, medications and uh, you can watch my other video where I discuss about uh, the different medications like colchicine, and to decrease the 
you rate level so it all depends i mean we use uh, the, uh, these medications in different people based on their uh, profile you need to take different things into profile when you start a patient on these medications for example if your patient has renal disease you need to think about that if the patient cardiovascular disease do you have a heart failure do you have a uh, uncontrolled hypertension you need to ask gastrointestinal disease do you have peptic ulcer disease do you what other medications are you using do you have any allergies do you have diabetes are your blood sugars controlled so all these questions need to be asked when you are starting treatment for these patients because these the side effects can complicate the other medical disorders these patients have so remember anti-inflammatory medications should be used they, they should not be used just like, like Tylenol or people many times give when a patient comes just give him Vicodin, Oxycodone, Hydrocodone, Morphine you gave them relief from the pain but you didn't treat the inflammation underlying these symptoms so you should always use an anti-inflammatory to help these people in different forms you can use uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs you could use colchicine you can use uh, uh, steroids steroids could be given by mouth or they could be injected directly into their joint so you see mainly i want to tell you we treat most patients um, with a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory agents i use usually like ibuprofen 800 milligrams or naproxen these kind of medications then you also think about colchicine if a patient says i cannot take the answers because i have an ulcer or a, a very bad gut just give them um, you take colchicine colchicine helps a lot of people so you see the history is important here don't give answers to a patient with active ulcer you are causing them to bleed then uh, colchicine helps then if the patient says he can't take colchicine then offer them prednisone the glucosteroids that uh, glucocorticoids you can apply you can uh, intraarticularly or you can also give by oral route so enzymes colchicine and uh, uh, glucocorticoids they are very good and remember start them as soon as possible because otherwise you are, you are prolonging the attack and uh, actually causing more problems to these patients. So I hope these uh, recommendations will help you. Follow the other videos also where I discuss it gout in depth so that you could be uh, uh, well. If you are a doctor, you would be able to treat your patients well. If you are a patient, you would be able to take care of your gout in a better way. Thank you very much.